look better without makeup. It was like pure bliss. So I can open it and react to it. I'm gonna surprise them with money. I am taking my Amazon storefront way more seriously now. I don't know why everyone is acting like the whole Amazon storefront thing is like new. Well, obviously a lot of people are like, oh, I have that in my Amazon store, a lot of influencers. But then I also keep seeing influencers be like, well now like influencers can get invited to sign up to have an Amazon storefront. So like everyone's doing that. I've had mine since like 2017. I don't talk about it ever unless I'm like doing an Amazon video. But anywho, I just updated it. So I had like beauty favorites, wellness favorites, but I was going back through them. Like by now, a lot of the stuff like isn't sold anymore or was out of stock or whatever. So what I'm doing now, I still have those sections up and I like clean them out a little bit. And I have one for cat necessities, which like I think is the best cat necessities list you'll ever find because I've tested everything. I've tried everything. I'm the cat whisperer. Okay. Oh, also R.E people saying to take bug to the vet from my last video when she was sick i did take her to the vet that same day just wanted to clear that up she didn't have any sort of like bacterial infection or anything she just had like a, a cat flu you know but thank you for your concern and i agree it's important like i she was starting to do better but i was still like what if she has something bad you know what was i saying oh what i'm starting to do is i'm making a separate section for everything I bought monthly. So I have everything I bought in January and everything I bought in February so far. There's also a list of my Amazon favorites from the last YouTube video I did where I talked about everything I bought like the last three months. I'm definitely gonna keep doing the monthly thing and then I'll also probably, I'll still keep adding like the best of the best to my favorites. Yeah, and honestly, like at least for me, maybe because I've had my account for so long, maybe it's different now. The Amazon storefront thing is for me more out of convenience because no i don't have fucking 10 million followers but the amount of questions i get about like specific items where i got them it's it's just convenient for me and for you or whoever's asking to just be like it's literally it's linked to my amazon store because the commission you get i don't even think i've ever gotten a commission check because you have to reach a hundred dollars however i have had over a hundred way over a hundred purchases and someone even bought this is such a side note but like every couple days i i see that someone purchases something that you know i linked to on my storefront i don't know what the exact percentage is and i actually want to look that up it's like two percent i believe commission which is wild i need to fact check that the other day someone bought a Laneige lip mask thing through my Amazon link and I saw it and like I you can see the number of clicks and conversions whatever and then it tells you your commission and that thing is $25 I think 27 for that lip mask and my commission was 32 cents I was like wait that is that's less than 1%. What's going on? So, I don't know, maybe it varies. The point is, like, it's not a money grab. Even if someone bought... Oh, that's what I was going to say. Years ago, someone used my link to buy a Sony A50... What was the one that I used? Sony A5100. Oh my god, my hair. I can't even... I can't even... I can't even look at my hair that I had linked because I talked about it in like a 2018 Amazon favorites video. I've only done like two or three of them. Like I said, I still have never even gotten like a check, like a payout because you have to reach the $100 threshold. If that camera back then it was, I don't know, probably $800 back then. The commission that I got on that had to have been under $20 because, or I don't know, maybe it really is. I only get a few, I, I need to really look at this, but I do know that I haven't reached $100 despite having so many sales. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I need to freaking find Zara. Cause I need to get a trench coat. Like now. Like I need it in like two hours. <laughs> the amount of shot cups that I have. I know. but they've never seen you without makeup either. Is that like a backhanded compliment? Or am I being crazy? I...
Yeah. I need to match it up to the beat. I got to argue about it. I have been feeling the decisions that were made last night all day, but it's actually not that bad. I'm just really tired. I still have to go get my car because I valeted at Mike's. He's gonna Uber me there. I'm gonna get it. Granted, I do also have a car here. I have my Tesla. However, I still haven't driven it since the first day that I got it and I drove it like a quarter of a mile. And also then like, how could I get both cars back? You know what I mean? But right now I have a bunch of dick rates to do. So this is my current setup actually. Let me just show you. So I'm gonna cover that. It's blurred, but still. I have all my messages open. I have my phone here to record the dick rate and then I have my laptop so I can open it and react to it and i always record on snapchat because it stops at a minute they're supposed to be a minute so it just works perfectly but yeah so i'm gonna rate some wieners i don't know just figured i would show you something i'm doing for schmoolly schmans film that so you could see the reaction definitely gonna mute the audio because i don't need you to hear me sing <laughs> There's two songs in particular that no matter what she could be like in one of her moods where she's like running around or like wanting to like scratch and bite and play and I just start singing either of these songs and she immediately just like Why do you love that song so much? melts and like is purring super heavily. And I've tried it like with other songs. It's literally just these little fucking hair. Oh no, it's literally cat fur stuck to my chin. Looks like I have a beard. Okay, well I need to drive my car. I've had my Tesla for almost, oh, what's it? Is it Thursday? I got it on Saturday and I have not driven it since then. And it's about to be like, it might snow literally in LA. like. There's a blizzard warning this weekend. I don't know if it'll snow where I'm at, but close by. But it hasn't even rained here yet. What? And my dad is... Bug, stop for a second. They need to fix that fucking leak. My dad is flying in on Sunday, and he's going to drive my car up north. Instead of giving it to my sister, because we found out she actually got... Her, I have to sneeze so bad. We found out she got a car. My dad is going to sell my car for me because I have no fucking clue how to really do that. I mean, he sold, he sold a lot of cars, so he's gonna sell it. And then with the money, I'm going to split it and give half of it to one of my sisters, the same sister that just got a car, and then half to my other sister, Katie. She's so fucking talented. She's like the best, the most creative. She's so fucking talented. Like sometimes I need to sit down and like show you guys all the things she's made for me. Drawing, painting, like so fucking talented. And she's finally gonna open an Etsy store, which I've been telling her to for a really long time. But she doesn't like, she's not a technology person. So I'm gonna give her half and be like, this is for you to get like all your Etsy supplies and start your freaking, you know, start your store. Then the other half to Amanda. Because yeah, I was just planning on giving the car to her, even though she has totaled two of the cars that I gave her. But recently her car actually just got like straight up stolen. So she, she needs a car to get to work. So, but anyway since she ended up just getting um, like an old used car. My dad's gonna come get it, drive it back, fix it up, sell it, and then I'm gonna surprise them with money. And my dad was like, I'm impressed with their generosity, so I'll, I'll do the driving. So yeah, um, but I need to go and like try to drive my car. I don't know, we're just gonna do it. I don't know if I'm gonna film it, but okay. I just stopped to get my mail and I got PR that I'm really excited about. But I have to go drive my car. Ready. I'm gonna FaceTime my mommy from my car. I don't even know if she knows that I got it. I, I mean, my dad probably told her. Let's see what she thinks, cause she's not gonna get to see it. Like my dad's gonna come up and get to see it. So it's so pretty. The videos in this car are just going to be everything. Also, I'm like, I already have the hang of driving it. I just needed to like actually go out on the streets and drive and I just drove through like a really pretty neighborhood and it was like 
pure bliss, which is like, I don't know, it just feels good. It just feels good. I'll look into Tesla camera mounts. <laughs> I'm not sticking anything to my window though. So much good content to come in this car, not just for YouTube, but for OnlyFans. I'm happy. Hello? Hello. Look how pretty it is. Do you have insurance yet? 